So good afternoon, a short update for Bitcoin. What's coming next this week? We have a bunch of important data this week. We have seen that the market uh, was surprising by very big and strong non-farm payroll. And the market is now stuck in this range, accumulation range, as we can see. Uh, because next week we have also very strong data. It's not meaning that we don't forget what happened on Friday. And we expect now the so-called second bank play um, coming here. We have a bunch of data that are releasing now who already or which companies have been selling massively their bitcoins many of them are fighting against uh, bankruptcy bankruptcy or still fighting or are bankrupt and they need to pay billions and billions back to the sec so for the bears good news are coming we see here that the nasdaq already we have here the sell as demand zone beginning at 73,700, and each time the bear the bulls tried to push everything to fake out the moves whatever the reason was the bears rejected all these prices very successfully on the other side at the downside of this wedge at around 59,800 to 60,000, 60,800. The bulls are trying to defend this zone. So on the bigger picture here on the daily chart, we see that the market is ranging and each time the market is rising up, the bears push down but the market comes back to the so-called neutral zone here. That's this resistance at around the current price at around 69,300 something. It's becoming much more interesting as we know that now the um, bullish volume is uh, decreasing and the last hope for the bulls is to defend the 65,000 zone so the beginning of this zone if they lose 67,092 the market will go down to 65,800 that's the last resistance for the bulls to defend that zone because in this case the price is coming back if it starts to accumulate they will with big probability start a pullback to this range if the market goes back latestly at around 68,000, 69,300 we will have again the next push up of the bears and they will lead the price first of all to around 50 9,000, 58,000 and 500. If the bulls lose also this resist, uh, this support line, the price will drop down to 53,000 to 50, 54,200. And after that to 48,300 to 49,000. And losing that level will lead us to the target or short target number three it would be at around 42,800 to around 44,000 to the upside also we see that the bulls don't have so much potential if the market breaks out of this wedge still here in all these areas the bears are omnipresent 
at at every point the bears will start to attack them so it would be very very heavy for the bulls under these circumstances to reach the all-time highs at around 73,800 once breaking that and of course potentially it could be possible that the market will go to 75,800 77,000 then to above 80k and last not the least at around 89,000 before we have the very big potential there so for the bulls it's better that they lead the market or they'll they give the control in the hand of the bears because of many many several reasons the first reason is that we still have here the big gaps they must have been filled if the market rises higher a lot of people start to buy and the market will drop heavily much more deeper so the target three short target three four tower forty three thousand will not be relevant anymore but target short target three will go down far away far away below 20,000 because below 40,000 to around 34,000 we have also many many open gaps that are unfilled so the best solution for the bulls will be let them do the market go down and then they can buy the market cheaper to drive it higher the higher the market drives the bigger the risk and the bigger the danger is because the market can fall much more deeper it's also very interesting how traders news whatever they start to make news here and there mm. Well, in the chat room, there are several traders again who are making very nice charts, but sadly, they just reflect anything, but not just what the market is doing. And that's very sad. Instead, what they are reflecting is their hopes and wishes. For example, if the market, we have this pattern it should go to 80k we have this pattern it should go to 64 we have this pattern it will go next week to 80k uh, then some people are talking about prophecies if those people would have prophecies or crystal balls then my question is why are there they trading here if they can look into the future what will happen or what is happening why are they trading here there are much more better possibilities to become super rich than every day sitting in front of the windows and waiting uh, for trades to close them to take those trades and so on so I'm not someone who, has, who is believing in prophecies or things like that. Instead, I am very logical that like these six blind people, as you can see, um, they meet an elephant and the first one is saying, oh, there's a great wall. The next one is saying, oh that's a big rope then this lady here is saying oh that's a tree while the other one is saying here yeah, that's a snake he says oh that's a spear <laughs> and <laughs> this one who is bob is a oh is a fan right this elephant is maybe a good symbol for the market right and these six people are traders different traders whatever they just 
see what they want to see but they don't get the whole picture or the bigger picture so before we take then a trade we need to look also into the weekly and we see this very very big red candle of course the current week or this is the current week is starting is green but what not everybody is seeing is how big we need or the candle is going to fill this very very gap here and if it's coming down to fill that we will be at around 64,915 and as I said before if we're going then to break that we will then go to fill this gap again at around 59,000 to 60,000 that will be something like that and then we will have this very big gap here at around 42,000 what does the market do well the market do does what the market wants it's not about what I want or you or maybe all those 100,000 traders it's just about what the market wants us to do that's all right and if we go now on low time frames here and lower time frames in five minute chart for example or low or whatever hourly we see the same traders as you have seen in the elephant picture they are recognizing this one then the first one is saying oh that's and then he's drawing that so fine oh a big and uh, a big head and shoulder is building then the other one is seeing this one right at around yeah 65 66 we can say a double bottom is forming then the other one is looking at this one and saying oh a triple top we go now down to 8k and so on that what I'm talking about the other one is looking now at this current bar five minute time frame um, that's green because the open the cruise is above the open and see oh we go now to 100k right and these are all traders that are missing to look at the bigger picture right where are the real support resistances and the real support resistances are always on bigger time frames not on lower here on lower time frames we have a uh, minor we have, we have also support resistances as you can see but these are just minor minor supports and resistances so the meanings of these support resistances is just temporarily but the most important and impactful uh, support resistances are on bigger and larger time frames right we see that uh, we happen today also hit then the 70k and then everybody is of course talking now we go because we have hit today 70k we will go back there yes this can be possible and uh, the market must go up no the market has not anything to do what you want the market you must do what the market does that's the reality that's all the market has never invited you and me and all those traders to trade the market the market even doesn't care if we win or lose the market does what the market does right so and that market is full of all those traps we want to see just what we hope or we see what we don't see what the whole picture is very often so my setup is based on all these facts strong bearish meaning unless 
the bearish picture is existing, I am just selling this market, right? And also here and there then taking some take profits and then I wait. I don't do anything. I just wait until the market comes to me, right? So I stop to hunt the prices and that's exactly what the other people are doing. They hunting, they are hunting the prices and that's totally destructive for the account. Instead, I am waiting that the price comes back to my setup. That's all. That's all I am doing. I'm doing nothing else. I just wait until the market comes back to me. Let's say the market coming here and I don't fall into the trap to say, okay, now the market is here and I want to go, for example, short here. Then I buy the market here, I make profit and then the market, then I sell here and the market goes back. I make then more profits. No, it's not going to work that way. Sometimes it can work, sometimes. But over time, it won't and it will here and there suddenly surprise you. Why? Because the market can also close the next bar with a big gap. Let's say the market comes here, the price still here, you have been buying here, you have been put here or there, or maybe here you stop, then you trail your stop here. So here is your position, the market here, you see oh, nothing is moving. And then you look at your account suddenly and you see everything is green, but nothing is moving, no price of nothing. And you update your account status, you update your chart, and you see the price is suddenly here. What happened? Well, because this is a very volatile and speculative business, the market trapped you very well. Why? Because the moment you have been falling back and dreaming, not only you, millions of other traders too, the market opened the next gap here. Meaning it doesn't, it doesn't matter if your stop is in profit, right? If your profit target is here, it doesn't matter because the next bar opened here and now the game is here and we have a big gap here. All what you have done here also in the meantime being in profit and you think your profit target or your stop is protected. You see suddenly at your account status and see very big very big red number and before the broker also we see here for example it happened here right so the market opened with gap upside suddenly and you are 90 percent you have not only lost all the profit you did during the last weeks or months but you have lost all of them and also you have lost big part of your initial capital where you have been starting the trading. So meaning now, let's say if you have a $10,000 account, suddenly you have only 2000 and you can't, you can't do nothing against it because you have signed a contract that you know, you are acknowledged that market can open with gaps and that will also lead to total ruin, total loss. You have signed it, you have confirmed it, you have said that you are accepting all that and therefore you are allowed to trade. You can nothing do against it, all right? So when can it happen? Well, almost if the volume is increasing to the other side, if you are trading against the big trend, 
if you are trading well almost on or very often on day trading i am doing it but i am putting uh, guaranteed stops and the guaranteed stops are those stops you cannot uh, trail let's say i go wrong here then i want to have a guaranteed stop and they tell me the guaranteed stop is here right so meaning now if the market opens with gap and the market is below my stop the broker later executes me at my guaranteed stop and that's the reason that i'm paying also for the guaranteed stops right that's a kind of protection and the next thing is that a lot of people try to well to predict the future guys there are billionaire traders billion dollar traders and not even there are able to predict the future if they are not able to predict the future and they are billion dollar trader why should you right maybe you can think about it if you like so then be careful with your trading plan your trade trade your plan and have a good and amazing week